What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Nintendo Wii gun games and we're going to be playing them with a Sinden light gun. Now I'm going to be showing you guys kind of what the controls are for these games and I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks um, that will help you kind of have a better experience with these games. I've actually gone through every single game. There's about 28 total that I'm including. And I've gone through every single game and made configurations for each game. Each game has its own profile. This is not a one fits all type of system. You know, any more complicated gun game really should not be a one fit fits all type of configuration because you want every game to be playable in a comfortable way. So, you know, every game has different controls. So I've made it so that the buttons on the gun have the best possible configuration that you can have for each game. I've seen other gun builds going around and, you know, hyperspin builds and stuff. And, you know, they don't have everything configured. Like if you go to a game like Resident Evil, you usually can only shoot and maybe use the A button to like pick up items. But, you know, what about the rest of the actions? What about changing weapons? What about melee attacks? Stuff like that. You won't have access to that. And that is partly due because the other guns are limited by two buttons. That's why I always still think that the Sindens are really king when it comes to light guns because they're accurate enough. Sure, gunfire for IR maybe is a little bit more accurate, but the Sindens are more than enough and uh, you get all these nice buttons and a D-pad which really let you take full advantage of some of these games. Anyway, with all of that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and uh, get into some gameplay here. And the first thing I want to let you guys know is that, you know, some of these Wii games, you're going to start them by squeezing the trigger. And some of them, like when you point to the menu selections, you have to press the A button, which is always going to be your front left button on the gun. So this gun, uh, this button right here in the front left. All right. And I'm going to show you an example of that right now. We're going to start up a game here. Arcade shooting gallery. I'm not going to play this game because it's not very good. But I'm just going to show you how in this game, you don't squeeze the trigger to uh, make selections. You press that front left button instead. All right, so here we are in the menu. And if I try to like select one of these things with a trigger, it's not going to let me. So all you do is you point at it, you press the left front button, and that makes a selection. You point at it, you make, press the left front button, and that makes a selection. New game. There you go. Check mark. Check mark. Anyway, you get the point. Just wanted to show you that real quick. I don't want to play this game. I don't like this game. Uh, to exit, you can always use the exit button on your control panel, or you can hold the front right button off screen for three seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And there you go. That kicks you right out. All right, let's get into some cooler games here. Uh, first up, I want to show you House of the Dead, because that one you do use the trigger to make selections. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one. That is going to be House of the Dead Overkill. And let me just go ahead and lower the volume here. Now this has a pretty long cutscene at the beginning, so I'm just going to skip through that and edit, you know, when I edit this video, so you don't have to wait for the whole cutscene. So notice it says press A and B buttons. So like I said, the front left button is always going to be your A button and the trigger is always your B button. So you would press those two together and there you go. We're going to continue without saving for this. And we're going to go to story mode. All right, let's get into some gameplay here. Now this game, you can reload by shooting off screen. It also auto reloads if you run out of bullets. So let me show you that. See it auto auto reloads or obviously you can cock back on the reload mechanism here and reload that way. You always want to have control of your reload if you can. It's cool if games auto reload, but you know, sometimes you need to reload when you want to reload. 
All right, so this game is pretty straightforward. There's not much to it. Let me just show you one other thing. And this is something I'm gonna to provide to you guys. I'm gonna give you a document that has the controls for every single game all together in one document. If you wanna print that and have it with you when you play these games, that's cool. You know, eventually you'll get the hang of what everything does if you play the games enough. But you can also access that by going to the special pause menu. If you have a control panel, that's usually gonna be either your menu button or your special pause button. Um, and you can come in here and it's gonna land right on controller. Then you would press down on the joystick. So I'm gonna press the down arrow key if you do it on the keyboard and you would press your select or start game button, which is enter. And there you go. These are the controls that I configured. It shows you that the front left button is the equivalent of the A button on a Wii controller. And that is gonna reload. The pump is also A and that is also gonna reload. And if you press the front right button off screen, that is the equivalent of the plus button and that's gonna pause or give you access to the menu. So we're gonna go ahead and exit this, press the exit button, and I'm gonna show you the pause, for example. So continue, yes. If I point the gun away from the screen and I press the front right button, there's the pause menu. All right, guys, let's keep moving here. I don't wanna to waste too much time. So I'm gonna point the gun away from the screen, hold down the front right button for three seconds, and that's gonna kick me out. All right, next up, let's go ahead and check some Resident Evil. And that is gonna be Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles. And if I look at my sheet, that again, I'll provide to you guys, I can see that the front right button is the equivalent of the one button on the Wii, and that's gonna be pause. The front left is the equivalent of the A button as usual, that locks aim, picks up items, skips cutscenes. Rear left is gonna be the equivalent of shaking the remote. And rear right is gonna be the plus button, which is when you have herbs and stuff like that in the game, you can press that button and it'll you know utilize the herbs to give you health. The D-pad, all the different directions are going to be to select different weapons. Sorry guys, I had to lower the volume there because I forgot to do it in the beginning. So as I was saying, if you press the uh, left front and left rear buttons uh, together, that is gonna be your melee attack. And then off screen, the front right button is gonna be the equivalent of the minus button, which is the status screen. Uh, you can choose your weapons and stuff like that there. All right, so like I said before, the front left button is the equivalent of the A button. So you can use that to like skip a cutscene like this. So I just skip that, let's get right into the action here. All right, here we go. So if you hold down the left button, the front left, see that locks target on the enemies. So that's the first thing right there, this first action. And again, if you go into the pause menu, the special pause menu, as I call it, lands your controller, you go down, you select it, and there you have all your moves. Let's go back into the game. So the front right button pointed at the screen, it's pause. It's back out, it's pointed away from the screen and you press that same front right button. That is gonna be this menu here. You can assign different weapons to the D-pad, for example. Let's go ahead back into the game. Let me show you a melee attack real quick if I can do it here. So that's kind of like a knife attack, I think. I guess you can't do the melee one yet. But obviously you can use that to like, you know, push back enemies and that's pressing these two at the same time, front left and uh, rear left. There's your front A button to pick up items. You have your reload using the cock mechanism. You can also reload by, I think it auto reloads. You don't shoot off screen for this one there. I just picked up some more items with the front left button. The rear left button is a dual like reload slash shake. So if you need to shake, you press it. If you need to reload, you could press it, but you can just use the reload mechanism here. 
me see if I have any other weapons yet. Yep, I do. See, so I'm switching weapons right there. Let me see if I can do the melee attack with these two buttons at the same time. I think you have to let them get close to you. Not happening yet. No, I guess not. There we go. Shake the remote. There you go. Remember I told you that the rear, uh, the left rear button is shake, right? So look, if I press it, it shakes. You saw the screen told you to shake the remote. So I went ahead and pressed that and he did a melee attack. Switch weapons right here. Reload. Pick up. Oh, now I have herbs, right? So check this out. Rear right button, press it. Boom, it used the herbs. Go ahead and pause this, see if I missed anything. I showed you guys the pause menu. I showed you guys this menu. Uh, shake. I showed you guys how to reload and choose different weapons. And I showed you guys how to do the melee attack. That's pretty much it for this game. So let's go ahead and exit. Point the gun away from the screen. Front right button. For three seconds. And we are out. All right. This next game, Sun and Punishment. Pretty tricky to play with the gun. But it's not too bad, actually, once you get the hang of it. So let's go ahead and check that out. This game has a lot of actions you can perform. And when you look at the moves list that I provide to you, it doesn't seem like it, but there's a lot of like combinations of stuff that you can do. Let me go ahead and lower the volume before I forget. Okay, press A. Remember, that's always the front left button. I'm just going to go to do not save. And I'm, as you can see on this one, I'm making the selections with the A button. You don't do them with the trigger because the trigger will take you back. And it tells you that. It tells you that B is to go back. One player start, new game, easy. This is a really cool game. If you guys have never played this, definitely give it a shot. So for this one, the front right button is going to be your C button. And it's telling you to skip with the plus button. So the plus button is going to be the front right button off screen. So if I point it off screen and press that button, it skips the cutscene, skips this cutscene as well. And this game is cool. A lot of these Wii games, I'll tell you what to do when you're first starting out. And it's telling you there, press B to fire your gun. Remember, B is always the trigger. And then press A to get rid of this message. And the, um, you know, your, your joystick would be to move the character, which is going to be your D-pad. So let's press A and let's go ahead and play. So as you can see, I can move around. It's telling me what to do. You can lock on the target. So if I tap A, it locks on. Tap it again, it, it clears the lock. You can move around. Now I made it so that, let me show you guys in the pause menu here. Go down to the controls. Uh, you can see there that uh, the rear left and the rear right are both the Z, bu Z button, so they're both evade. That's if you want to, whatever's more comfortable for you, if you want to do it like this or you want to do thumb on the D-pad and then your finger over here on the rear right button, that's the way I like to do it. Uh, so that's evade. And then you have jump as your front right button and front left is to charge your shot or lock target if you tap it once. And then your D-pad is to move around and that's about all the controls for this game. So let's go ahead and get back into it. So if you want to go ahead and evade, you press the direction on the D-pad and you press this button right here. See how I'm doing it? Very comfortable like this. It's not bad at all. You cannot do this with any other gun, guys. That's why I love the Sendens.
So press C to jump. Remember that was the front right button. I don't usually use that because I like to hover up instead of doing that because it's kind of hard to reach in the front there. And yeah, so I just evade and, and hover up. So instead of jumping, I'll just do this with the up on the D-pad. See right there, instead of jumping, I just hover. Sorry, I was looking at my video, making sure it's still recording and I'm not just wasting my time here. All right, guys, so you get the idea. Really cool game. Definitely give this one a try if you haven't ever played it. Let's go ahead and exit, and we're going to take a look at one more game here. So this time I'm going to do the escape key, which is the exit key on your control panel. And we're going to go ahead. I'm going to exit hyperspin for this next one because I'm going to jump to uh, different parts of the game, and it's easier to do it directly from the emulator. All right, so we're going to start dead space right here and let me lower the volume real quick. And the controls for this game are pretty complicated. I'm not going to pull them up on the screen like I did the other ones because I'm doing it directly through the emulator. So I don't have access to the pause menu, but again, it will be in there for you. So on this one, the front right button is for stasis. That's just the move in the game. The front left is the A button, which does telekinesis, opens doors and lockers, uh, any sort of selections, that's the A button. The rear left is tilt left. That's for an alternate fire. You're going to need that or else you can't play the game. And the rear right is for shake. All right. So the equivalent of shaking the Wiimote. Uh, the pump is going to be your Z button, which is reload. And uh, the D pad is to change weapons. And then the front right off screen is pause and the front left off screen, it shows you your health and ammo. So again, press A or B to start. So I'm going to squeeze the trigger. And I'm just going to go ahead and jump to a safe state now instead of going through the whole menu. So let's go ahead and jump to a certain part of the game where I want to show you some things. All right, so here we are. You're supposed to shoot these things. There you go. And I'm going to show you a trick right now with a reload. Let me just finish this part here. All right, so like I said, your rear left button is to tilt, is the equivalent of tilting your controller, right? So you need that to access the alternate weapon. With what you need for here, CSS to alt fire mode. So if you try to shoot that, nothing's going to happen. But if you hold down the rear left button, now you have your alt weapon. You can charge it up. Fire, and there you go. And I'm just holding down, I'm just holding down this uh, left rear button here. So hold it down, squeeze the trigger to charge it up, and release. So check this out. I'm going to reload. Now, if you normally, if you reload as normal, like you just cock back the reload mechanism and you let it go, it takes quite a while to reload. If you want to do it faster than that, because an enemy is attacking you or something, you have to pull it back once again. So you pull it back and you pull it back again when it's in the shaded area of the crosshairs there. Check this out. Now you pull it and it reloads right away. You saw the shaded area there, right there. So reload, shaded area, reload again, instead of having to wait till it gets all the way to the end. All right, so it says press A for your, um, your telekinesis. So you're going to do that. And yeah, that's all I wanted to show you here. So let's go ahead and jump to another point in the game now. All right, let's see what I want to show you here. So to open a door, you press A. A to open the locker and get the item. Continue. All right, so you have to like destroy this thing right here. So it says to shake, right? To do the melee attack. Now I think it's these two. Actually, no, it's not. 
It's the rear right. So I'm going to press the rear right button and there's your melee attack. All right, that was it for that one. Let me show you another point in the game. All right, here we go. I'm just going to show you how to switch weapons. It's just using the D-pad, but I want to show you guys what that's like. So we have to wait a little bit here. Grab it with the A button. It's telling you what you can do. Here's your primary fire, your alt fire, accept. Oh, you use the A button, yep. So there you go to change weapons, use your, you know, your joystick, which is basically your D-pad. All right, so check it out. You can switch weapons with the D-pad. So there's your two weapons that you have right now. And again, your rear left button is the alt mode. So you can see the crosshair is switching from horizontal to vertical. It's accessing the different uh, modes that you have to fire. Oh, shake the Wii remote with the front right and then press A. There you go. You can perform all the actions, guys. That's the awesomeness of having all these buttons in the D-pad on your gun. All right, let's do one more thing and then we're done. All right, and at this point, I'm just going to show you guys the stasis, which is your front right button. Uh oh, I didn't reload on time. Where is it? Here it is. So grab that. Cool. So now press the front right button. And there you go. It slows down the action so that you can go ahead and do what you have to do. So now it says hold A and drag the Wii. You're supposed to connect each point. So I'm going to do that. Hold the A button down while pointing there and then just drag along, drag along. Boom. All right, cool. All right, let's go ahead and get out of this game. And yeah, guys, that is going to be it. So I put tons of time into this for you guys. So everything works as it should. And you're actually able to play the game as intended with all the actions instead of just having like one or two of the of the actions that you can perform in a game, which doesn't make any sense. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one.